Hi everyone, and as promised er um, earlier, I'm back with another featured article for today's newsletter at preferredcurrency.news. But before we go to that article, just a quick reminder to you all that we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding the information we provide for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel, esmarketplace.news, and preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright, now I won't be taking long, so let's go to the second featured article, which is about virtual currencies essential to internet infrastructure, Peter Van Valkenburg to U.S. Senate. Alright, so let's go to the article itself. Okay, now according here, um, Van Valkenburg reportedly explained the importance of cryptos to the future of the internet to the UA Senate. Says the LT and crypto assets may proffer solutions to the flaws of the World Wide Web. Van Valkenburg also explained to senators that Bitcoin eliminates existing financial barriers. Now, while Bitcoin and established altcoins like Ethereum have succeeded in bringing the real revolutionary blockchain technology into the limelight, some regulators and policymakers still sees nothing good in crypto. Against that backdrop, Peter Van Valkenburg has explained the importance of the nascent digital assets to U.S. regulators in a Senate Banking Committee hearing. U.S. Senators Worry of Crypto According to a Forbes report on October 11, Elizabeth Warren, a potential 2020 Democratic Party presidential candidate, said in a Senate Banking Committee hearing that Digital assets are easy to steal and bad actors are continually launching fake initial coin offerings or ICOs to defraud retail investors. The senator also said that regula regulators are facing an arduous task trying to nurture productive aspects of crypto while protecting consumers. Alabama Democratic Senator Doug Jones also opined that he has reservations about digital assets because from his years of experience in prosecuting criminals, he has come to understand that crypto criminals are more technologically sophisticated than law enforcement. Bitcoin and distributed ledger technology have huge potential. Per a news release on its website on October 11, 2018, Peter Van Valkenburg, Director of Research at Coin Center, a leading nonprofit organization whose primary objective is to tackle the policy challenges plaguing the digital currency industry, has testified in support of cryptocurrency innovation and the need for amenable regulation before the Senate Banking Committee. Van Valkenburg reported or reportedly argued that the Borgium digital asset class and the groundbreaking digital ledger technology or DLT that underpins it is essential to the future of the internet as they are already revolutionizing the way of information is organized on the internet. The highly reputed prompt proponent of blockchain technology and crypto made it clear that there is a real possibility that digital assets and DLT could eliminate some of today's problems with the internet as dedicated researchers and developers are working round the clock experimenting and building solutions with cryptocurrency. Now, in addition, not perfect yet the researcher also explained to senators that while Bitcoin and other digital assets are still pretty experimental, 
The truth remains that crypto is a significant breakthrough in computer science since it makes it possible for people to carry out financial transactions across the globe in real time without corporate intermediaries. As such, the gospel of distributed ledgers and cryptocurrency should be embraced and favorably regulated, Van Vogelberg argued. He further noted that blockchain technology eliminates the costly vulnerabilities present in systems with a single point of failure. Open quote, roughly half of all Americans, 143 million, have had their social security numbers exposed to hackers because of a bridge or breach at Equifax, end quote, he stated, citing several other scenarios where criminals have exploited the vulnerabilities of centralized systems to steal vast amounts of money. Okay, now that was the second article um, featured in today's newsletter. Now, the information is presented for your news review and educational entertainment. All right. Okay, here. Now, um, here's a great website where you can get alerts about your EOS transactions. Um, going or simply going to the um, site eosauthority.com slash alerts, you can get alerts for transactions on your account, such as incoming and outgoing transfers, changes or additions to the keys, airdrops sent to the account, actions authorized by the account, or any ECAF arbitration notices. Also here, um, EOS Authority performs as a block producer where it deals professionally with technical matters or issues of arbitration and governance. Now, um, EOS Authority is um, probably based in the UK. It's registered in England and Wales. It has transparent operations. It's publishing quarterly reports on block produ production. It's self-funded, wholly self-funded, avoiding any external control. And it, health, it has healthy partnerships, fostering collaboration with other block producers to benefit the community. Now, also, um, EOS Authority um, also offers to monitor EOS accounts here. EOS, um, it offers to monitor EOS accounts and set up account alerts. Well, you just simply fill in your Ethereum wallet address here and find out your EOS account and starting balance on the mainnet launch. All right. Um, EOS Authority also has tools and articles here, such as track EOS upgrade proposals, get alerted for EOS account activity, how we save $10 million of EOS, Find your EOS account name, EOS registrations, Genesis campaign, generate your EOS fallback key, track voting on the EOS mainnet, how was the EOS mainnet launch, and video intro of Space Invaders on EOS. Okay. So here. Now, EOS blockchain development services are as follows. Now, POC development, it's, or it elaborate proof of concept services to showcase the technical viability of a product and its market potential. Two, smart contract development, design, development, audit, and optimization of self-executing coded business contracts to automate processes, private and permissioned. Build permission private blockchain applications for any industry and save on infrastructure costs. And it also, or uh, one service is supply chain development, improve transparency and traceability and reduce administrative costs with the fact of supply chain solutions. Okay. 
here. Let's go here. Okay, now EOS Authority as a block producer. Now, founded by a team of techies, EOS Authority operates in London, UK, and is fully funded by internal sources with zero external backers or vested interests. Its mission is to facilitate and grow the EOS network. We aim to do it our bit to build a high performance and robust network. Security. Our team has a wealth of experience of main in maintaining and securing mission critical application from DDoS and other technical attacks. Infrastructure. Multiple redundant nodes and hot standbys to take over at a moment's notice. We also leverage the best existing solutions where possible. Scaling. Automatic scaling rules will be set up right from the start to provision additional capacity as and when needed. Jurisdiction. UK is one of the best places for blockchain development combined with the best legal system allows for long-term operations. Trusted team. Now, our highly technical team have collectively published numerous YouTube videos and various free or open sources EOS tools. Here. Okay. And also, you can contact them or EOS Authority would like to hear from you. So, you can call them with, through this number email them at their email address or go to their physical location all right here now um, you can always get the latest news from the experts simply by subscribing to our website at our preferred currency dot news okay. you just scroll down here and click the link PayPal if you want to use or if you want to or if you want a monthly recurring fifteen dollars per month fiat or you can use coinbase for only hundred eighty dollars per year with your favorite cryptocurrency handled by coinbase and when you do that you will receive daily emails or daily newsletter directly to your email a day ahead before our broadcast. Also, um, you can advertise what you have for sale in exchange for EOS and also what you would like to buy at our website here at EOS Marketplace News. Now, if you have vacation rentals, um, real estates, boats, or services available in exchange for EOS, you can post them here. Now, the site is very accessible and it does not require any membership fee. You just type in the item that you want to sell, its definition, and of course, your contact information. Also, you can get the latest news about blockchain at PCN.today. Now, um, you can get the latest news about EOS, Bitcoin, altcoins, and other cryptocurrencies here. Now, you can also go to marketplace.pcn.today to place your additional listings here. You can search for any category, a keyword, or a desired location here. One. And people, um, you can absolutely get an EOS account for only 99 cents simply by choosing the application called EOS Links in your Google Play Store or in your App Store. And now we have good news for you. Uh, the publisher of Preferred Currency Dot News would like to connect with you personally. Um, you can contact Donald the Guru through his phone number at 1-801-601-8105 or on his WhatsApp at 
or on his telegram channel at preferredcurrency.news and you can also follow him on twitter at preferredcrypto all right here now we have an affiliate program where you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep so you can just go to our website at preferredcurrency.news you'll see on the upper right hand corner an affiliate tab you just click that one to sign up and earn your crypto each month all right okay so um also um, don't forget the upcoming Crypto Games Conference is coming 18th and 17th and 18th of October at Minsk. Now, um, tickets are still up for grabs. Now get one, get yours now, and be a part of this huge event. All right. Okay, so um, that's it, people. That was for the second featured article in today's newsletter. Now I'll be back later on for another article at preferredcurrency.news. Once again, this is Mia and see you later.